Uh, yeah. Hopefully it goes this Fyra. Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video today. Today we're heading up to ProDrive in Banbury to do a kind of private tour around their factory. We're starting here in Cobham, we've got a line of cars behind us, but we're going to uh, grab a few more cars and then head up to Banbury. I'll explain more once we get there, so yeah, let's get in the cars and go. Oh my god, that did not just happen. Where's he going? So, a decent start to the day. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it goes this Fyra. way. For the rest. <laughs> Right, so we have arrived at ProDrive, as you can see. We've got a quite nice lineup of cars underneath the big ProDrive sign. We're gonna head in and see what they've got around. I've got a few ideas of what's gonna be inside this massive building. Uh, GT3 cars, rally cars, it should be quite good. So let's head in and see what's going on inside. The flag. <laughs> so. We are into ProDrive and straight out we're greeted by this beautiful kind of cherry red Aston Martin Vulcan. Beautiful spec, you see the lights in there, carbon badge. Looks absolutely stunning. I think it might be the one that we saw at Brands Hatch about a year ago at Blanc Pain. Stunning, stunning car. But then next to it we have the Colin McRae 555 Super Impressa. So this is Colin McRae's actual 555 liveried Super Impressa from back when Super at the top of their game in the World Rally Championship. Was not expecting to sit here, was hoping to sit here but wasn't wondering if it was actually going to be here. By the way, if you ever wondered where the 555 comes from in my name, that's where it comes from. So, great to sit here along with Obviously, that beautiful Aston Martin Vulcan. So, as it is quiet in here, and I've got kind of the whole area to myself, I thought I'd bring your attention to this section here, which is the Aston Martin Lagonda kind of GT3 section. So we have this uh, DB9, which was the uh, Le Mans winner in 2009, I believe. So a very special car right there. And then we've got a World Endurance V8 Vantage, along with this beautiful Aston Martin GT12. You do not see many of these, only a hundred made ever and going up in value like crazy. This came off the forecourt worth £250,000. Now they're kind of touching half a million pounds. So these have skyrocketed in value. Then we've got a almost fully stripped down uh, V8 GT3 car. See the raw block in there. Full carbon fibre body. As you can see there, full carbon fibre. All completely stripped out crazy to see a car like this. And then here we have another GT3 car that was uh, racing in the, in the World Endurance Series at Silverstone just the other week. Still dirty from the track as you can see down there. So Silverstone dust on my fingers. One that hasn't been stripped down unlike the three cars we have here. So the one at the far end is a Le Mans uh, race car. Then these have all been completely stripped out all stripped down to the bare bare chassis around here got the Akrapovic uh, exhaust system here and then the V8 
really cool to see it all exposed like this you can see uh, all the air intake so you've got air intake there you've got an air intake up here all comes through goes round and these these two here come through and cool the brakes that would be right here this has a recognizable name on the roof up here this is Nicky Lauder's son's car once again completely stripped down and I'd just like to bring your attention to how narrow the field of view is in this car look at how cramped it is you've got so obviously this driver could be quite small so you've got a very very tight pedal box area then the seat it's got a booster kind of cushion and you can see it's all crammed in up there and then the sight out there is absolutely tiny you've got this big kind of uh, sun reflector up here and then you've got the center console tiny tiny field of view very very claustrophobic but still really really cool to see inside the car as well as around the engine bay and just everything on the car all together So this area here is called the marriage section, so this is a uh, Aston Martin V8 Vantage GT4 which is the uh, customer version of the GT3 car. It is 80% uh, road car but it is only for the track so as you can see it's all been stripped down taken out and that's the body and uh, well, chassis is down here got the, I think it's 4.7, 4.7 V8 there, sitting pretty, yeah, incredible to see it all taken apart like this and be standing underneath our £160,000 GT4 Aston. So with racing cars like these, you do get quite a lot of accidents and with accidents you get rubbish, of which is laid out all the way along these racks over here. So we've got a GT3 Aston uh, rear window and spoiler absolutely huge spoiler you don't really realize how big these spoilers are until you see them in real life uh, bonnet that's worth about eight thousand pounds altogether you've got uh, another bonnet there another eight thousand pound a bent I think that's rear rear arch there wheel arches uh, finished tires you've got some slicks here and then you've got probably some wets and then where is it down here you have the front splitter now you're looking at that that's just a flat bit of molded carbon fiber but when you realize that is worth around fifteen thousand pounds for that one bit of carbon fiber now when racing they're going around uh, very kind of undulating turns throughout the race so you get a lot of wear on the front as you can see there but to solve this simply using a piece of plywood to absorb the bumps so you don't harm this very very expensive piece of carbon fiber so these scrapes here are probably from a recent race maybe at uh, Silverstone so this would either be off the track or maybe off some curbs but the amount of stuff they have there just to waste off of cars is absolutely incredible they've got a rear bumper You've got the centre light in there. Yeah, really, really cool. Side skirts, door right there, just hanging up. Full carbon fibre. Yeah, really, really, really cool. So we have finished here at ProDrive, it has been an incredible day with some incredible cars. Huayra first thing in the morning, that was completely unexpected, uh, Vulcan, GT12, all the GT3 cars, it's been absolutely incredible. Big thanks to ProDrive from all of us here from our little group uh, for letting us around today on our little private tour, it's been absolutely great. We've now got the big drive back down south, about two hours, two, three hours. Um, but yeah, it's been an incredible day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video very soon.